what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to mix up some cement or some water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sand. When you get the, the bag, you just look it back down that way. Try not to breathe while the dust is coming up. It's very dangerous for your lungs. Two. I'm going to put a half in there just for good measure. Tap off the rest. I put that on side. Now I've got the oxides. I've got my yellow. I'm going to do one. I'll go for two with this yellow. I'll do one of brown, sprinkle it over, tap off the excess. Then I've got black. This is a very strong black, this one. So I might just put a couple in there. And then I'm going to get my fork, gardening fork. Some people use a hose, other people use a mixer. Cement mix of it. This is good, this is good exercise. Come through and just mix it up. Get it all nicely mixed up. Just go right down to the bottom, scrape it all on the bottom, pull that the other way, take it into the sides. I find a fork really works well. Easy to take through the sand. It's a leaf, we'll take it out. Now, that's mixed up enough for me. You can mix it up further if you want, but that's fine. Because what we do next is we make a depression in here. And fork over there. We get the hose. Nice high pressure. Some people will mix, you know, work it out by how many bucket balls are needed for each thing. That's fine. I just tend to judge it right down to the bottom and around the edges, that gets all, all the uh, cement off the side. I'm going to cut through here. And this is why you wear old clothes. You get covered in the, in the stuff. Just remember if any dust comes up, get out of the cloud or don't, just don't breathe it in. Hold your breath for a while. You suck it down to your lungs, you can set it. Make an artificial out of rock out of your lungs. So, now, ready. I'm going to get my spade. spade. Or I could use a fork if you want to. The fork's quite good for this. But see, just come through and you mix that first lot. So the cement's going right through in that water. See, there's got quite a lot of water in there. You get to judge it after a while. It's all ready to see how it's just going through the sand now. Nice and easily. I've mixed that up really well. Need any lumps of cement, just really mix it in. So you can see it's all sort of a sloppy mix now. Now I'll get some of this. You see that's doing it with a spade. I'll put that aside. You can see with the fork, just as easy, if not easier. That's the only problem. Doesn't matter. Let's keep mixing it in. That's why you have a little dam at the back. It's got a nice sloppy mix. I quite like that because it, when you throw it onto the rock, it spreads nicely. So see, I'm just still mixing it in. See, it's all mixed really nicely. You can still see some streaks of oxide in there. So I'm ready to go. You can do it thicker if you're doing on more vertical surfaces, so it sticks better, but this is fine for just the surface area I'm doing.